Hey guys, I got this uh, new game, Fallout 4. I'm sure a lot of you guys play it or have heard about it. And it has this lock picking feature, which got me thinking, let me show you just in case you've never seen it before. Uh, basically, you walk up to a door or anything like this, and uh, it looks like kind of like a wafer lock core. And what you do is you stick a, a you know screwdriver in there for tension, and you have this bobby pin in there to manipulate the internals. And basically, you're not really picking pins as much as you are just rotating the bobby pin to the correct position and you kind of like feel it out and you know all that stuff pretty inaccurate i know uh but this got me thinking could i pick a lock with a screwdriver and uh, i know a lot of you guys out there have picked locks like master locks with a bobby pin to like pick the pins and that's really cool but the screwdriver aspect got me thinking so i've been rooting around finally found the lock which I think I could actually use a screwdriver to help me pick it. And I'm going to do that for you in the next section. And so stay tuned and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, guys, today's lock is kind of an interesting padlock. It's got a kind of a cool shape to it. And uh, this is the logo. I'm not sure what that stands for. I'll just call it the TN306. As you can see, it is a uh, circular style padlock. Uh, kind of cool. You can see the keys are that classic style with the notch for tension and the dimple cuts here. You'll kind of see these kind of um, cheaper cylinder, uh, circular type cylinders and like some cheapy uh, steering wheel locks and things like this. You can see it fits in. There's a little uh, bar in the back. Uh, and that's what grabs the tension slot on the key. And those are the pins. One, two, three rows of pins there. So I'll operate this for you like this. Uh, there it goes like that. That dot helps you align the key. You'll uh, turn the cylinder and the shackle actually falls out. So kind of nice to have a removable shackle on such a small padlock. It's kind of nifty. Good for the collection. I, this is the only one I've ever seen actually. Anyway, so what I wanted to do is pick this lock for you, one, the way or s the most similar way I can get to the Fallout game, as I showed in the other clip. And I'll be trying to do that using a screwdriver. And then I'll pick it traditionally because this is actually a good lock to show for beginners because the pins actually bind pretty hard and... Uh, you could see the pins binding. I don't know. It's kind of cool if you like to visualize pin setting. So <clears throat> I will go ahead and get set up and uh, let's start with the fallout style picking. For our fallout style picking, actually, we do not even need a bobby pin. And the reason is this. This keyway is so wide open and there's a tensioning uh, slot, there's a tensioning like a little uh, bar in the back. So I found a screwdriver that I could fit in here and get tension. So I'm now tensioning the lock, you can see the cylinder moving. But there's no room for a bobby pin, actually. So I thought, okay, forget the bobby pin. Um, let me just experiment with this. Maybe I can rake it just using the screwdriver so let's give it a go i'm going to get tension like this and i'm just going to rotate it back and forth almost like in the game uh there you go <laughs> it's that easy my friends <laughs> i guess uh this lock um they didn't think about that when they made it <laughs> because okay so hold on let me lock this back up again but this keyway is so wide open. Okay, so it's locked again. This keyway is so wide open that you could get tension and use the, uh, uh, wow, again, holy schmoles, amazing. Just rotating this uh, screwdriver will rake all the pins around it and open the lock. That is really unbelievable talk about i know master lock it's a lot of crap but holy dang that is way too easy let's do that one more time again this is locked and we will try to pick this with our screwdriver and this rake and again 
amazing. Okay, so if you guys want to see a more traditional view of lock picking, stick around and I'll try to pick the pins and uh, one by one and uh, you could see that in action. But anyway, the screwdriver theory, there are not many locks that will open with a screwdriver, but I found one. Yes. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here's a more traditional view of lock picking. Uh, you can see the, the lock is locked up. Uh, we have this tension wrench. I'm gonna be using this long, uh, skinny, tapered kind because I don't wanna block too many pins. And we're just gonna be using a regular hook. And here we go. Let's zoom in and see if we can get the light correct, clear for you guys. So you see the dot here? Let me get my pick. So the dot tells us where the tensioning bar is. So let's take our tension wrench right here and we'll stick it all the way in the back and you can see we now have tension. Uh, so um, now we can start picking the pins, take our hook and we're just gonna feel around until we could see a pin binding, okay? So we have this luxurious open keyway to watch what we're doing. And immediately I can tell you this one is definitely binding because it is very, very hard to push down compared to let's say this one, which is easy to push down and it springs back up. This one, my pick actually like slides off. So I'm gonna push it uh, quite hard and we're gonna hear it set, ready? There, you heard that click into place and now you can see it's now springy because the, uh, driver pin is uh, at shear. So let's check this pin again and we can see it's springy so that's not binding yet. Let's go behind the first pin to the second pin and that is binding so let's press it down ready. Okay great. In fact I even heard I mean felt the um, core rotate there so let's check this pin and okay that is now binding so let me let me just make sure yeah we can see that springy in the back if you can see my pick is bouncing so let's move over to this side and well actually now that i see this in the light you can see there's a pin missing over here there's an empty chamber god such a bad such a bad manufacturing job so there's a pin missing here but uh this is binding now you can see it's no longer springy so let's push this down ready actually it's sliding off ready god there you go wow i got it already check it out i'm going to rotate the, the cylinder here and the shackle will fall out and we've opened the lock well there you go um holy crap this lock is manufactured so poorly because not only is there a pin missing on this side but all these pins over on this side are inactive uh, they must not have driver pins because I didn't even have to touch them so no wonder this thing can be opened so easily with a screwdriver I mean honestly I think if even if those all those pins were there you could still probably use the screwdriver trick but anyway there you go. I hope that was educational for some of you out there, maybe some of you beginners who uh, like to visualize the pins uh, setting and what your pick is doing. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that was fun or educational, and I'll catch you next time.